Speaking of fantasies, tonight a drug that sounds too good to be true, and maybe it is, it's been tagged the Barbie drug because it's claimed it can make you thin and tan just like the doll herself, if that's your ideal, of course. Plus, as an added bonus, it said it increases your sex drive too, but what are its side effects? And does melanotan too really work? In the US, the FDA has just urged consumers to stop using it saying this product is being marketed and sold illegally, which is pretty unequivocal. But the doctor trialling it here claims it works and it's safe. Simon Shepard reports. Getting out in the sun. A rare and risky thing for Nikki Burnett. As you can see, she's almost translucent. Been called the glowing one. Sometimes I have friends that tell me to go stand in the corner because it's dark over there. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of jokes going my way. It's been a life of covering up or keeping in the shade. When was the last time you think you had a tan? Um, probably when I was about eight years old. Eight. <laughs> so is this the answer? A formula called Melanotan 2. It's a synthetic copy of the hormone that stimulates the melanin in your skin. Your tan, your natural defence. Dee O'Neill is the doctor trialling it here. Have you taken melanotan? Yes. So your tan that I'm looking at at the moment is a melanotan tan? It's the middle of winter and that's what it is, yes. So you haven't been away on holiday? No. Hi Nikki, how are you? Nikki. Take a seat. Unlike Dee, Nikki is far fairer. After doing her checks on the formula, she's agreed to be a guinea pig. Excellent. Are you ready? Sure am. Over three weeks, Nikki will have a daily injection. Here you go. Didn't even feel that. How did that feel? I didn't feel it at all. It was completely painless. Nausea? Nothing. No effects? Nothing. It's pretty good. This is Nikki after shot one. On a rating of zero to six, her skin type is almost a zero. If anyone needs protection, it's her. Because if she doesn't get it, this could be the outcome. Skin cancers, melanomas. The ugly side of our quest to be bronzed and beautiful, whether it's spray tans, sunbeds or sun. University of Arizona researchers wanted to make this quest safe. They came up with two versions, the second, Melanotan 2, not only tanned, but suppressed the appetite and increased libido. Do you get that every time? It seems less so, I think, in the female patients, but in the male, it's pretty much every time. Is it happening to Nikki? This is shot five. Too early to see any tan, but there is a side effect. I've lost my appetite a little bit, but... You've lost your appetite? Yeah. How much? Um, quite a big difference from before, definitely. It's just, yeah, probably had like a pie or something on Saturday and just couldn't eat anymore. The development of Melanotan and Melanotan 2 is being carefully watched by people in the cosmetic and tanning industries. The global obsession for fake tans and sunbeds is big business, about $5 billion. That industry might feel threatened, except that you have to inject this formula. Well, it's not personally what I would choose to You're do. You're not a fan of needles? No, but the market does is changing, so as long as there's no long-term effects, um, just have to wait and see, I guess. They might have a different view once an Aussie company has perfected a slow-release tanning implant with no side effects. For now, the injectable Melanotan 2 is aimed at stemming people's overexposure to UV light. To make it work, though, Nikki does need a couple of five-minute sunbed sessions to stimulate the melanin. We next see Nikki at injection number nine. Her appetite is still suppressed. So you're starting to turn a little bit. Only a little bit. I'm just not glowing white anymore. Not glowing still white. Still white, but not glowing white. <laughs> and there's something else. Increased libido, Are yes. You okay? I about that. <laughs> yes, can't you see the nice glow? <laughs> so the libido has been enhanced a little bit. Has yes, it, it been has tweaked? Yes, Right. Yes. To everyone's satisfaction. <laughs> no wonder it's called the Barbie drug. But how safe is it? 
Melanotan 2 has been through some university clinical trials in America, but it's not recognised by the Food and Drug Administration there. That doesn't mean it can't be used here, but Medsafe says it would be classed as a high-risk medicine because it's injected and it acts on the hormonal system. But Dr O'Neill says under the Medicines Act she can use it, but not promote it. The law says that a company or a doctor can bring this in. However, names, dates, people that we give it to must be recorded and used for audit purposes and a doctor or registered medical practitioner has to take the responsibility for who they give it to. Just as Nikki was finishing her three-week trial, the American Food and Drug Administration warned against unsubstantiated claims of melanotan 2 helping prevent skin cancer. It means that the due diligence process is continuing and um, we can't really go full forward into this business until we've got our due diligence done. Does it concern you what's happening in America? Of course it does. I'm a doctor. I don't want to do harm to anybody. However, it's not giving us any warning bells about medical problems. It's just the paperwork and the fact they're making claims that we can't prove yet. Are you still convinced that it's safe? For my own part, I am absolutely convinced it's safe. And as for Nikki, did melanotan 2 work? This is her after injection number one. Then shot nine, and you can see more freckles. Shot 13, and finally shot 20. Once again, here are the first and last shots. To maintain that tan, Nikki would have to inject once a week. The process for me has been very easy so far. I haven't really had any negative side effects as such. Um, I'm not quite as proud as I want it to be, but um, definitely, yeah, as my friend said, not translucent anymore.